hello 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 good day how are you this is your girl twain i'm here again this afternoon to teach us on how to make a flounce design a flounce pattern we're going to use it basically for sleeves we're going to place it on a sleeve of a dress and you see it is easy it's super easy to make flounce sleeves basically we use it to design and jazz up and put appendages on our dresses it makes our dresses or our blouses look very dramatic just makes it look give it a gives it a very different look so come along it is super easy so right here this is the satin that we're going to be using the satin is one and a half yards and i have divided it i've ironed it and i've divided it into four as you can see i divided it lengthwise like this and i divided it also like this into two then i also divided it like this into four and i iron this corner down this is our beginning part right here this is the corner that's double folded on the edge here and i divided i divided it down and ironed it straight so that i could get the midpoint now i'm going to open it up so that we could work with it so as i've opened it up like this this is the middle of our our fold the middle of our dress so right here all around the center middle like i want to make the flounce the flounce is actually in a spiral form so we're going to come here and take one inch from each side from each corner this is the midway this is the midpoint of the fold and we're going to come here and take one inch all around from the middle point just put your tape rule right here and you get one inch all around one inch one inch all around one inch all around so we can use our free hand to trace the one inch this one inch is going to be our starting point one inch and one inch all around so from this place one inch we come here okay and we mark the midpoint the midpoint of this line is two we come here and we mark one we come to the next quadrant this is the first quadrant this is the second quadrant we come to the second quadrant here and from this place here from this one inch that we have marked here we come to the middle of it also that's one inch here but on this place because the the flounce width is going to be 4.5 okay i'm going to use 4.5 you can make it bigger for yours so i come here and i mark out 4.5 okay so from here i connect i make a connection from this 4.5 to this place here from this one that i've marked here on the midpoint here on the quadrant that's next to it i come here and i do it i mark it hmm? I mark it you take it from the square facing it and i mark my 4.5 up to here and from there and i continue marking my 4.5 okay so we'll continue measuring our 4.5 all around we continue marking and measuring all around till we get the full circle until we get to the end of the fabric we continue measuring at 4.5 we just keep on measuring from the last place from the last markings let's shift this up okay So we'll just keep on marking the 4.5 till we get to the end where we cannot get another 4.5. And we're getting close to there. So right here you can see we can't get another 4.5 inches here measurement they can only get the last one so we can't get another one here so this is where we'll stop so now we're going to trace this circle we're going to trace this circle these curves we're going to join them to one another we're going to join the curves you see how it will give us a flouncy shape by the time we cut it out
you just trace connect all the dots all the markings will connect all of them and this is the end of the fabric here so we can't do anything much there So this is the end when we get to this tail end here when we get to the tail end here you can give it this is it here the 4.5 ended here so we can give it a straight cut like this or you can give it a sharp sharp straight edge like this any which way we're going to give it this type it's just going to be straight so we're going to end it like this so it looks like a the shell of a snail okay now so now we're going to cut cut it out but before then because it's on double fold i just want us to pin it down because what we're going to use the same fabric for the lining so we're going to pin it down so that it does not shift so that it doesn't move and it aligns with itself so when we're sewing it's going to be very easy because anything you're going to use for the lining per adventure you're not planning on using the same fabric for the lining you need to cut it the lining anything you're going to do for the lining you need to cut it in this spiral shape also unless by the time you sew it it's going to drag it's going to drag because one shape one is cut in a spiral shape and another one is cut in another shape so at the end of the day the end product will not be something that you would like okay so we're gonna cut now just on the line we'll cut off the border in excess fabric When we get here, do our ship. Okay, so we'll trash this, we'll dispose of this, this we don't need again. So we now start our cutting of our thumbs. We'll start from here. And we'll cut along the lines.
So this is it here. So when you get to this place, you will just cut out this first circle, the one centimeter by one centimeter circle that we originally used as our starting point. There we go. So this is our spirally flounce that we have just cut out now. So I'm going to teach us how we're going to go about to sew it. So for sewing, we're going to use our crinoline. We can always use it better. It's preferable that you use the color of the material you're using. We should use the color so that it will not show. Okay when you're done with it then we're also going to use our hemming gum this hemming gum is going to make the job by the time we finish it and iron is going to look professional and crisp the edges are going to be crisp so it's good that you use the hemming gum so how are we going to sew it this is the back of it already joined together like this the two the two the two of them the lining and the main fabric will come here okay and we'll put our crinoline our crinoline on one edge the bottom edge not the top one here the bottom edge of it then you put some hemming you put the hemming gum also so you're going to we're going to be sewing all the round all round it to the end so when I'm done I'll come and show you how the end product looks Okay, so now we have finished sewing round. We finished sewing everything round. We closed this edge. I closed the edge. You can see this is the hemming gum. This is the crinoline. And this is the fabric and the lining. This is the right side of it. So it's closed right side to right side. We close up this place and we have sewn everything, everything down. So now what we're going to do now is we're going to turn it over to the right side. We'll turn it to the right side and give it a good press. We're going to turn everything to the right side and give it a good press. When we press it, you will now see how it comes out looking beautiful. I'll show you right now. So this is it. This is the crinoline that's ironed onto the satin. After we've gotten our shape, so you can see it's so neatly done. It's ironed on. You can see how it has so after this one now we're going to go and top stitch this place and put it in pleats all around so i'll show you the final products after we fixed it on pleats and how we're going to put it on the top that we're making so we're just going to pleat it all around like this we'll pleat it all around all around so that it can form a really nice and beautiful curve after we're done with that i'll show you so this is our sleeve, it's ready, We've put it on our top, our blouse, you can see how it's looking very flamboyant and very trendy. So thank you for tuning in and hope to see you in the next video. Bye.